what Merlin would think of a wizard in the world. Hengist of Woodcroft certainly had. Is everything all right? Oh, bless you! Oh, thank you for asking. I'm Betty, Betty Bugbrook, and no, everything is not all right. It's my dear friend Hazel. Oh, she's in trouble. Hazel? Yes. Oh, she's a unicorn. Known her for years. She doesn't like to leave the forest, so I visit her once a week to brush out her mane and bring her some treats. Her coat is glorious. Well, the last time I saw her, we were violently attacked by a pack of wolves. Hazel, loyal friend that she is, leapt in front to protect me, and in the process, I fear she may have been injured. I'm sorry to hear that. I want to help her, but she seems to have gone into hiding. Out of fear, I'd imagine. I know you Hogwarts students learn a fair bit about caring for beasts. Perhaps you could find my unicorn friend and get her somewhere safe so that she can heal. How did you become so close with the unicorn? It was luck, truly. I came across her when she was a little golden foal. Didn't even have a horn yet. Oh, she trusted me straight away. We'd play together for hours. Oh. I do hope she'll be all right. Unicorn hair is a valuable wand core, and I suppose losing a hair or two mightn't hurt her. But I'm terrified those poachers will want her for her blood to keep themselves alive. <gasps> and that is more than I can bear to think of. I'll keep an eye out for your unicorn friend and take her to safety if I see her. Oh, you've a good soul. I can always tell. Please, don't risk your own safety, though. I don't know precisely where she is, but I can tell you that her den is north of Hogsmeade. And although I haven't been able to brush her lately, I imagine she still has the brightest, most beautiful coat of her entire herd. Remember, you'll know her by her brilliant coat. Oh, and be warned, she's a stubborn girl. She may need some convincing to come with you. I need to look for a unicorn with a beautifully bright coat. Sounds as if she's in trouble. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. I'm not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. Alohomora. What do we have here? Demi guys. Ravenia. Thank you for all that you've done for us. A little more.
spill some gold. What style? This looks intriguing. Hazel must be here somewhere. Revenia. Come on, Hazel. I mean you no harm. Get any more cozy than Hogsmeade. Madam Bugbrook, I found your unicorn friend Hazel. Oh, what a relief! Is she all right? Are you all right? Do you have a safe place for her to stay? We're both fine, and I have a safe place for her at Hogwarts. You have a kind heart, you do. I'm relieved and thankful that you'll take care of her. I shall miss my sweet pointy pony, but I know she's safer away from the poachers. <gasps> Do give her a nice brushing for me, won't you? Take good care of Hazel now. That relic is the key to saving Anne. I know it. Meet me outside of Feldcross as soon as you can. Some exciting news to share. Hello, Deke. Professor Weasley said you had an idea. Indeed, Deke does. Uh, uh, Deke knows that you want to learn about all sorts of beasts. And Deke recently heard rumors of a phoenix nest in a nearby mountain. A phoenix nest? I wonder if it belongs to the phoenix Natty mentioned, the one Harlow and the poacher pack are after. Deke would not doubt it. If Deke has heard of it, surely the nasty poachers have as well, which means it could be in danger. Well, I'd better go and rescue it then, hadn't I? Deke thinks so. So majestic a beast should not fall into such vile hands. 
Deke is not sure why, but Deke feels that saving a phoenix might help to make amends for what happened with Deke's prior master. Deke hopes that you are able to find the phoenix and bring it to the room where it will be safe. <laughs>